Hey folks, this is Mike. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to do a very quick Blu-ray update. I got a package today from Kino Lorber, and I also have from Severin Films this beautifully remastered uh, Italian Gothic melodrama starring Barbara Steele from the year 1966. It's called An Angel for Satan, directed by Camillo Mastrocinque. This is uh, one of Barbara's more obscure uh, lesser known films from the 1960s. For a long time it was only available in an Italian language version with no subtitles so you had to kind of make up the story for yourself as you went along. But this is beautifully remastered. Nice slipcase, different artwork on the the cover of the uh, package and this is uh, as I said a gothic melodrama not really a horror film. Of course everybody's going to call it a horror film and uh, it, it, I, won't, I won't talk that much about the plot the plot is about a woman who is uh, exhibiting very strange behavior and becomes sort of well known as being a local witch. And Barbara is terrific in this movie, gives her a chance to uh, do some very dramatic acting, also is a beautiful showcase for her uh, lovely face. And it has uh, two audio commentaries, one featuring Barbara herself along with film historian David DeVal, and it also has another commentary with film historian Kat Ellinger and uh, some other features as well. So I'm very happy to have this just in time for Halloween. Here is what I got from Kino Lorber and the package came today. A lot of these films I haven't seen. Some I'm not sure if I've seen because it's been a long time. I have this uh, Claude Colbert classic, Arise My Love, co-starring Ray Milan, which I do remember seeing, and two other films featuring Miss Colbert, which I'm not sure if I saw or not. One is called The Gilded Lily, and this is the the bride comes home, co-starring Fred McMurray, one of her more frequent co-stars, also Robert Young. So I'm very happy to have these. Um, here is one I'm looking forward to seeing, The Ice Man Cometh. This is a filmed uh, play by Eugene O'Neill. Great cast of actors: Lee Marvin, Frederick March, Robert Ryan, and Ryan and Jeff Bridges. Wow. Okay. Directed by John Frankenheimer. Next up is. Uh, Arabesque, starring Gregory Peck and Sophia Loren, a film from 1966, I believe, that I've never seen, so that'll be kind of fun. Next up is a, a, a wonderful film that I, I'm very happy to be able to see again, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, starring Steve Martin, directed by Carl Reiner. This is a very funny and very loving tribute to the film noir uh, movies of the 1940s. It's in black and white. It has Steve Martin interacting in film clips with um, classic stars from some of their films, people like Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, uh, Veronica Lake, um, let's see, Humphrey Bogart, Burt Lancaster. This is a very, very cool movie. Very happy to have it. This is a movie called Hard Country from 1981 uh, or 82, starring Jan Michael Vincent and Kim Basinger, which I remember seeing on cable TV way back in the day, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. This is uh, an old favorite from the early 1960s uh, onslaught of very well-made horror films. This is Burn Witch Burn, starring Janet Blair and Peter Wingard. And I'm very happy to have this in pristine condition. All right. Next up is a, a James Stewart Western, Bend of the River, directed by Anthony Mann, with whom he worked many times. Also with, wow, Julia Adams, Arthur Kennedy, and Rock Hudson. What a great cast. Okay. Next up is uh, an, a documentary that I'm looking forward to seeing. It's called Dying to Know. It's a documentary about Ram Dass and Timothy Leary, two of the major uh, fixtures, figures, I should say, from the 1960s who were experimenting with the drug LSD and became sort of uh, iconic figures of the, the drug culture. And I know a little bit about, about Timothy Leary. I know nothing about Ram Dass, so uh, this will be a nice... Uh, piece of 60s nostalgia right next up is uh the audie murphy audie murphy western collection which has three films starring mr murphy one is ride a crooked ride a crooked trail no name on the bullet and the duel at silver creek and i'm pretty sure i i saw all of these films at one time or another during the 1970s because uh, Audie Murphy's films played on TV quite a bit back in the day, but it's been a while since I've seen any of them. This is a film starring Anthony Perkins and Sophia Loren. 
Five Minutes to Midnight. This is a film that I don't think I've even heard of, let alone seen, uh, from 1963. So that'll be fun. Next up is, ah, here's an old classic, I think, A Foreign Affair starring Gene Arthur, Marlena Dietrich, and John Lund. And uh, this is from 1948, actually, 1948. So Gene Arthur, I don't think Gene Arthur has ever made a bad film, so that'll be very cool. Here's a film noir that I may have seen back in the day from 1948. This is uh, Alias Nick Beale, 1948 or 1949. Ray Milland, Audrey Totter, Thomas Mitchell, Alias Nick Beale. Uh, here is um, kind of an exploitation film, Guiana, Cult of the Dam, starring Stuart Whitman. All about the Jim Jones uh, disaster back in 1979 and I'm pretty sure that I saw this back on cable TV there was another miniseries that was also very good which I, I do remember seeing starring Powers Booth as Jim Jones but this has uh, Stuart Whitman Stuart Whitman yeah all right and finally here is uh, a, a horror thriller that I I've never seen called The Maze starring Richard Carlson and uh, it says it's in three dimension, but it's not. It's not in three dimension on this Blu-ray, which is fine. And uh, it's supposed to be a very uh, colorful and strange sort of a mystery film. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. And that's my brief update. Thanks for watching, folks. I know I've been uh, drowning you in videos lately, so I appreciate your watching. Let me know if you've seen any of these films. Comments are always welcome.